Warriors have battled. They're even on the glass. They've gotten 20 points off the bench. Their bench has been better than Memphis's bench. But remember, you're playing without Draymond Green, but they're playing without Dylan Brooks and Steven Adams. So that's been Bain pushed right before halftime. Wiggins a good look at a three. There you go. Andrew Wiggins has 10 to lead the Dubs. Only Warrior in double figures. John Moran has 18 for Memphis. Needed that. Wiggins, two of three on threes. Career best continues. Clay with a nice strip. Two on one behind the back. How about Steph Curry with a beautiful assist there. Had a little sauce to it. Dribble around Gary Payton a second at your own risk. It's interesting. Gary Payton's the best defender on John Moran this season. When GP2 is on him, he's one for eight. And nine. Exactly. Okay, they're almost at the midway point. They've had a phenomenal year. You're going to have a little bumpy start. They're going through this crazy road stuff yeah. that ends at the end of this trip when they have a seven-game homestand. The whole season is take, three baskets, hey, so they're the thinking Warriors about it. are always working, and Steph right down the lane. But the work ethic, the intentionality, the pride, and the competitiveness of the Dubs. Yeah. You never underestimate this group. Yeah, it just shows you they're aware of it, you know. Mayor Williams. And there were the ones that grind your teeth a little bit. Mm. Memphis had had the 18-point lead. Warriors are a quality third-quarter team, but 30 seconds here. John Moran spinning. GP2 was there. Clark couldn't tip it in. Long rebound to corner three. Review that. <laughs> That's big. Got to stop. Final three seconds, Desmond Bain getting to the arc. And they kind of used that and, and made a few more threes, got a little more rhythm that way. They're still down when it comes to the three-point shooting. So Clay Thompson opens threes. Oh, I just love his perfect form. Yes. The wide yep. stance, the way he goes straight up, the balance. He makes it look so easy. So Looney hits both free throws, and it's a three-point game. John Morant. Just being able to see his name on a stat sheet again and see what he did in the game. But did you hear him run down a stat sheet? Negative two, that's, that's no good. good. <laughs> yeah. in the plus minus. But his appreciation for all the small, little, simple things are just through the roof right now. So Brandon Clark in with Jaron Jackson with that foul trouble. Peyton, look at him guard. Steve Kerr was like, okay, GP2 is scuffing a little bit physically. What on the youngster? Bottoms of three. Hard drive to the left and then the step back. He gets easy separation. Adds to that record, 162 straight game to the three made. And Curry with a steal. Curry running with friends. It's a three on one. The lob to GP2, and he just guided it home. <laughs> I thought Steph was going to throw, but he threw it late there, but GP2 waited, timed it perfectly. Uh, don't be shocked when Curry gets a triple-double tonight. Wiggins three, and here comes the shooting. Man, Steph's passes, and is just incredible. He's at 15, 9, and 9 in that triple-double watch. Peyton knocked it up. There's something about the Warriors in third quarter. It's one of the best in the NBA. Deep. Well, they got 18 down to up eight. We know they got an extra gear they can get to. A lot of times it happens in the third. Now Morant with GP2 on him. Use the Clark screen, trying to return the ball. They got him bottled up initially. Steph had the close out on Moody. The minutes in the first half gives Damian some minutes here. You know, like, the, keep everybody engaged. And also, you know, D. Lee's more of a vet right now. And so with Clay subbing out, you know, give... You might have him guard Jaw and then bring in Clay to finish. Wiggins is in. Is up over the top of him, shoot it. They got 41 between the two of them. And John Morant wasn't bailed out that time.